Hey Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another Psych2Go video. Friendship plays an important role in our lives. However, we aren't always blessed with having reliable and trusting friends around us. Have you ever felt like this in your experiences? If so, this video suggests five types of toxic friends that you have to be aware of. One, the criticizer. Have you ever had a friend who likes to draw trivial comparisons between you and the other friends they encounter? For example, they complain that you should act, dress, or be a certain way in order to meet their expectations as a friend. Toxic friends are never satisfied with letting you be yourself. You feel uncomfortable around them because you feel like you can't truly express yourself. They don't see any negative behaviors in themselves, but they're quick to point their fingers at you when you do something they don't approve of. Two, the mood influencer. The people we surround ourselves with can influence how we feel, think, and behave. When your friends ask you to hang out or wanna to talk to you, how do you feel? Do you look forward to it or do you feel dread and worry? You may feel this way if a toxic friend forcefully drags you into their emotional roller coasters and dramas without caring how you feel. For example, if they're being scolded by their boss or someone offended them, they'll assume that you'll listen to them and pour out an inappropriate amount of emotions and personal history onto a conversation before you can even give them a response. Three, the busy person. Does your friend make excuses to avoid talking to you whenever you feel down or upset? They don't care if you failed your test, sprained your ankle, or if you're dumped by your partner. They don't really bother to spare time to talk to you and spend time hanging out with you and would rather do something else. Your friendship with them feels one-sided because when they're the ones to feel sad, they'll vent their feelings to you and expect you to be there for them immediately. Four, the shameless one. It's okay to make mistakes, as long as we're willing to learn from them and change for the better. However, when a toxic friend has done something wrong and you confront them, they don't feel any remorse and will typically blame others to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. Even if they apologize, it may not sound sincere. They may say things like, I'm sorry you feel that way, instead of, I'm sorry I made a mistake. For instance, if you explain to your friend about how their attitude hurts you, they fail to put themselves in your shoes and view things from your perspective. Instead, they blame you for making them behave the way they did. Five, the ghost. Think of a friend you met. Then think about the conversations. Who is usually the one to start the conversations? Do you guys take turns initiating conversation almost equally each time? Frankly, toxic friends do not actively pursue a discussion with you unless they need help from you. They're more or less a vampire or a parasite. Other than that, they often stay silent or they've read your message but never reply. It's understandable that someone can forget or be busy, but if this phenomenon persists over time, this is one of the red flags of a toxic friendship. Do you resonate with any of the types mentioned in this video? Leave a comment below to share your thoughts. If you find this insightful, share this video with someone who could benefit from it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Site2Go for more.